All right, all right, everybody. Monkey Puzzle here with some monkeys. Now, I know technically they're not monkeys. I'm gonna get this over with right away. They are apes or hominids, actually. I'm not even sure if they, if they count as apes, but the word monkey is gonna get tossed around because I am Monkey Puzzle, and this is the game about monkey puzzling. So, hello, everybody who's already joined. Hey, Tasher, hey, Gamma, hey, Wicked Turtle. Everybody who is watching and everybody who will be watching. I thought, let's do some of this live. I've put up two tutorial episodes, uh, half an hour each, of how to get started. And that's pretty much as far as I've gotten. So I thought, well, let's let's do it live. HD Antidote, what's up? Hi. <laughs> Hello. So yeah, let's play some of this game. I'm, I'm really enjoying this game. I think it's really ambitious. It's not for everybody, but I like it a lot. Water. Okay, so let's get started. Now, when it says press A to get started, that actually means space. Oh, I gotta get in here. And let's go. And see where we're at. So continue. We're gonna continue with the Monkus Puzzlica clan <laughs> species. It's a brand new species and they're evolving. And uh, when we evolve, we may have to call it something else. But there it is. There is my one neuron brain. <laughs> oh, we got a little bit more than that. We've earned a few more neurons, but that's what that's supposed to be. And yeah, this is new. It's not even a week old yet. And a lot of people have been playing it. I'm actually pleasantly surprised because I thought that some folks would find it a little, little, you know, it's not the, uh, well, there is action for sure. I mean, like right now, I need uh, some food and water and stuff. Apparently, I'm very thirsty. And so I am the collective eye, my whole little clan of monkeys. And we got to stay alive, even though there's all kinds of giant snakes and crocodiles and saber-toothed felines and, and all kinds of things that want to eat us. So, right now I've mainly been sticking to my little safe little zone here. See some horsetails. Ooh, I was hungry. Yeah, so hopefully I got some fish left. Hopefully y'all have uh, seen some of the other stuff that uh, I've done. And we can go from here. Oh, I picked up a stick. We well, might as well take that along. We'll probably do some exploring today and leave the safety of our little waterfall sanctuary here. Let's see if I can eat some of these without getting food poisoning this time. I thought the berries were pretty safe, but last time I ate some, I got a bad tummy. Oh, yep, there's the bad tummy. It'll still give me food. I'm just gonna drink a bunch of water. So I should have had a coconut first. Because coconut seemed to uh, make you proof against this. Ooh. That's funny, I wonder when the, when the berries became poisonous. Hey, Karmic. Yeah, it is a really fun game. Super ambitious. Um, it's a bit of work. So it's not for everybody. And there's a lot to figure out. But that is the monkey puzzle of it. Glad to see you here, man. Yeah, so, you know, let's figure a stream for two or three hours. And let's just see how far we get. And pretty much everything from this point, I'm going to be learning with you guys. I do know that uh, when you get food poisoning... Drinking water kind of washes it, washes it away. So we're gonna need to get some more food going on. It looks like we've eaten all the horsetails here and the berries are not doing me very well. Um, I could try to catch another fish. Let's see if that's the case. And also though, I gotta get all these guys fed. And the fish actually gave me a, a bad tummy too. Let's go up to the next level up there. I know there's another coconut tree over there. We'll have to, um, what we call it? We'll have to, okay, words, <laughs> come along. Uh, we'll have to, to um, husk them to get to the food. So it's a little bit of work. Oh, and you know what? 
Where was it? I hear it. There's some honey nearby too. That's a new thing we have to do. Let's get some honey. Well, let's just get these cocos first because they're easy. Easy enough anyway. Get ourselves all fed. So, can I shake? Yeah. Shake all the cocos down. All right, we got four of them. And then let's throw those down. Down below. So there's one of them. Where'd the rest go? Uh-oh. Lost my coconuts. We got two coconuts? We should. Oh, there's some more of those berries. Now, if I uh, drink some coconut, actually, I'll be a little bit more proof against those berries. Let's see, let's go over where the coconut is here. And we'll toss these down. Let's drop that one. Switch hands, we'll drop that one. And then there should be a couple more over here, right? Ooh, I got issues today. Issues. Yeah, so I got a little bit of the familiarity of the, the beginning stuff in this game, but I definitely have a lot more to go. Oh, uh, and yeah, I'm losing my coconuts. <laughs> oh well. Alright, we'll have to uh, find some more. Through two down there. Let's see uh, what else we have to to learn. I mean, that's going to be a lot of this. So uh, we hold still. And then to get in our senses, we press Q for intelligence. Let's press E. And so that we know already. That we do too. Uh, this is what I was looking for. That is a big question mark. I know what it is because I actually did this in the previous one. So we got to see if we can get over there. Without hurting ourselves too bad. I think I won't uh, break a leg if I jump off of here. Let's go ahead and take this way down. See if I can do it. Let me know. Nope. And another thing I'm going to be working on today is just getting better at the locomotion. All right, let's take a big jump and see if we can do it. So jumping is a little strange in here because it's the release of the space bar. Oop, nope. But we're pretty sturdy. We don't uh, break legs too easily. So he doesn't know what those are. Oh, ouchie. But I do. All right. And to do this, we're going to make need to make another tool. So let's see if there's stuff up here to make one with. Yeah, we could use one of these. So grab that and switch hands and get into alteration mode. And now we got to listen for that little click. Right there. Yep. I was too slow. Let's try it again. There we go. So I got a little stick. And I know that uh, get over here, we can use it. So let's inspect this, hopefully without getting stung too bad. Well, first he's got to inspect his new stick. Okay. Okay, cool. And then, um, yeah, he might need to inspect the stick in his hand too. Yeah, there he goes. What did I make? I made a tool. It's a stem. Cool, so now we can dip. It's giving us that little cue. Check it out. I got some honey. We gotta inspect this. What is it? Smells sweet. Looks good as honey. Yeah. So hopefully we get some food value out of that. Little kids like, give me some. And I guess, oh yeah, I got some food that time. Cool, can we dip again? 
I wonder how many times we can do it. Okay. Can we do it again? Is that just like infinite food? Somehow I don't think so. The kid's like, give me. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna back up because I don't want to make the, uh, I don't want to deplete the beehive. I think that got us into pretty decent shape there. Cool. All right, let's go ahead down here. I should have just left my honey stick up there. Oh, some of these already fell down here. Okay. All right, so let's strip a couple coconuts um, and feed the rest of the clan. So let's go ahead and do that. We're getting low on the easy food. Do some looking out for the rest of our relatives here. This part's slow though. I do know you can do stuff with rocks and make like choppers stuff. Okay, so we did that, now we need to grab us a rock. And I don't know, those might make this a little easier, but I'm not sure if that works. When I tried it on the coconut before, I kind of messed up. When you use a rock on a green coconut, you bust the hole to get the liquid. Okay, this one is very, very delicate. There we go. Okay, so let's see if anybody's hungry. How are you? You're good. How are you? Yeah, pretty good. All right, people aren't that hungry. And you, how you doing? Oh, you're in good shape too. Okay, so we can save this food. So we'll go ahead and just leave it here. Let's see, do I have it in the right hand to drop? No, I didn't. So we gotta switch it, drop it, and then let's get that monkey, other that baby monkey, onto somebody's back. It's probably fine like that. I'm a little worried for it. So let's go ahead and piggyback it and get that on somebody. Okay. And then I'm going to go back to, well, we got to figure out what we're going to do next. Um, so today, goals are to basically learn more unknown stuff around us. We want to evolve some more neurons. Um, we want to do some exploration of the area around us. But we can't get too far because we won't be able to save our progress. So let me demonstrate. So over here, if I lie down... We can press E for evolution and get in here. And then, so, so far, we, our neuronal progress is, we've got this motor skill uh, for switching hands, motricity, and in communication, we got kinesics, so we can call the clan. Now, both of these, I think, don't need to be reinforced, but these two do. And I'll show you what I mean by that. If we... If we come over here, we've got four kids in the clan because uh, we have two females and they each can have two kids max. So we've got four and we need to use that to reinforce these things we've learned. So here we learned uh, the item manipulation. Here we learned um, dropping an item while moving. And so if we evolved to the next generation now, those two would stick with us. Um, we can learn two more things here and do that because we've got four kids. So basically today, at least at this first part, I want to learn two more skills and then evolve unless we can find another female and have more kids. So basically for this generation, we're going to go as long as we have reinforcements for things we've learned because otherwise, if we learn them, uh, we'll have wasted our time because we'll have to go back and do them again when we go to the next generation. And I think when you go to the next generation, those things stick for good. And then you learn more that you try to get to stick. Now, these are all things, these little dots, these are all things that we can um, 
develop with some more training and they'll just kind of come by doing other things and then this one let's see i need to get out of that mode and go over here yeah this i think is what we use to get to the next stage but i don't really know how to use it what happens if we press q expand explore evolve okay apparently Yeah, I don't want to do it accidentally, but I think you trigger it there. I'm not really sure. All right, give me one second. I'm gonna mute up for one second here, guys. Okay, so it's getting towards the evening, but we're good for the moment. Uh, let's go ahead. Who am I now? Okay, I'm an adult female. And I think both females have had all the kids we can have. Let's go ahead and go back to the male. And just check out for sure. So if you look at her, yeah, she's not fertile anymore. And... She's not fertile anymore. Yep. So we've got all the kids we can. And we got our two elders here. I was thinking that if we do some exploration beyond the bounds of our little sanctuary here, we should take the elders. Because they've only got this generation. Next generation, they're going to pass on. So they are our expendables at this point. I don't know if they have any limits in what they can do. They seem to have a little bit less stamina. Um, their green circle doesn't extend all the way to the outside. But yeah, they're kind of our troops. If we lose them, it won't hurt the tribe in the long run when we evolve. So it's a little harsh, but you gotta kind of think that way um, as far as getting out. All right, so why don't we see what else there is to learn in town here? Um, so let's go ahead and hold still and hit Q. Get into intelligence mode and have a little look around. So, see if we can find more question marks that we haven't learned yet. Yeah, this is all stuff we know. See, let's get over here. Try that some more. Not sure if there's a way with this to, uh, if there's a different symbolism for things that you haven't learned yet, or if they all just show up as squares. So we know granite rock. That was also granite rock. This obsidian. I know there's a third rock we haven't learned yet. So there is a question mark. We don't know. So let's get over here and let's memorize it. And let's see if it's up here or if it's beyond. What is it? Okay, it's this thing right here. Where'd it go? I guess it goes away when you get to it. I think it was this bush here. Can we inspect it? No. What was it? Let's get into that mode again. Ooh, yeah, there's some scariness right there. What is that? I'm not getting the... Inspect prompt. It seemed like it was right here, eh? Ooh, yeah. Scariness. Okay. Keeps wanting to scoop. Something to grab here. Oh, I had an inspect. 
No, that's just water. Oh. Hmm. This one's a little tricky. Let's try that again. It's right in here. What is it? Yeah, this one's elusive. I don't want to climb the rock. Big thorny tree, I should be stinging myself right now. Yeah, it's getting confused by the fact that I'm in the water. Because then it just wants to drink. I'm trying to stand on this little rock here. Maybe from up here. Position just right. I'm not actually standing in water. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Well, I may give up on this one pretty soon. I'm in smell mode right now. It doesn't smell like anything. But my intelligence definitely finding something spooky about it. Um, maybe it's just a barrier of some sorts. But, oop. I think I'm gonna have to let go of this one for now. Because it's being elusive. He's a lost cause. <laughs> Did you get this through Epic Games? Yeah. Epic Games is uh, the one way to get it right now. Oh, and look at me. Oh, I got tired from hanging on that rock is what it was. Okay. Yeah, it's an Epic exclusive at the moment. If that's a big deal to you. I'm sorry. Okay, so let's find some more... Uh, some more question marks. So, I think... Let's see. Yeah, we know those. That's all the natal grass cycad. And this is her. Oh, there's a dead symbol for our relative who died in the beginning cutscene. It must be him up there. And then what else we got? Anything new to learn in this area? That's going to be branches. We might have to venture forth. Find something new. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, that's that question mark I can't seem to figure out. What about this thing? That's a question mark. And this. Okay, let's see if we can get this one. Let's memorize it. Let's see if we can find out what that is. And that's another one of these. It's like right there. Yeah, close enough that we have already uh, got rid of the symbol. Huh. So these are kind of a quandary. I don't know what's up with those. Let's look off into the distance here. Let's see what we find. There's a bunch of question marks out here. There's one. These are all... Let's, let's go investigate this closest one, eh? 
Let's see what that is. Alright, I think. Let's be risky. And see if we can... Oh! Oh, that was dangerous. <laughs> that was dangerous. Okay, and it's still... Oh, it's way out over there. We got more food down here. We gotta be vigilant, apparently. I wish there was some way to know how far away things are. Okay, there's the hiding place. That's sticks. That's something. Let's go see what that is. Ooh, and I'm getting away from comfortable territory. And that's looking like it might be kind of far away. And it's getting late at night. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to chicken out for a second. Because it's already nighty time. I don't want to go out of dark. Alright, let's get back up there. I was hoping to find something to learn within our little area there. Um, but the one thing I found so far won't let me learn it. Can I climb up this roof? Apparently not. Okay. Let's get up to it from here. Alright, so let's try a little jump that way. Did it. Gotta practice when it's low, low stakes like that. Alright, let's go get some sleep. And then we will figure out what we can learn. So I know there's like whole other biomes. There's like big treks that you can make to uh, find all kinds of new places. But I've hardly gone anywhere at all. I've just been a home buddy. So you can climb rock faces like that, but you notice they get you real tired real quick. Stand there for a second, get my energy back. But yeah, you gotta be careful because you can fall to your death very easily. In here. And that would be a silly way to go. And I'm going around with two kids here. That's some high stakes. That's our future. Let's get some sleep. Let's see if we can figure it out in the morning. And lie down. And then to sleep, you gotta press and hold Z. We'll have some nice psychedelic dreams. Let's see what we dream about tonight. Alright, he's in the little river scene somewhere. Yeah, look at that. He's dreaming. He built a shelter of some sort. And if the dreams kind of give you clues. Oh, we slept in late today. Okay. Alrighty, so we're going to need to eat and drink and stuff again. Sleeping seems to really uh, dehydrate you and Get you hungry. Hey, Rally! <laughs> You're playing WoW while watching me? Excellent. Oh, I missed the comment about the WoW hole. <laughs> uh, let him, let Rally, you can indulge in WoW as much as you want to. We all get to indulge in whatever's fun for us, man. I don't have that nostalgic association with WoW. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm not going to classic WoW at this point in my life. But, man, if that's the thing, I'd say do it. Alright, the horse tails have grown back, so we got an easy, easy lunch today. Easy breakfast. 
And I'm inspiring my whole clan to eat. And not as much as you want to. Do what you want, man. You're an adult. But some people mean you can't do as much as you want. Hey, you took mine. You can't do as much as you want. I think it gives you freedom to do whatever you want. But yeah, I thought I'd see if I could learn a little bit more about this game here. And see how far we can get together tonight. Alright, so let's... One more time. Let's look around here. See if we got any big question marks. That's a question mark right there. Let's, let's learn that one. Discover. What is this? New landmark discovery. Jungle. Hidden waterfall oasis. Okay. <laughs> I just discovered the place we've been hanging out the whole time. Ooh. Well, these guys had to discover water. Oh, look. That's a nice perspective on it. Sweet. Selfish and dangerous ones. Whoa. What's going on here? That looks frightening. What was that about? Uh oh. Cutscene time. Looks like there's a fire. All right, so we discovered the jungle's hidden waterfall oasis. Completed. I matured a neuron of intelligence. That's cool. And then there's fire there. Um, I think we are meant to go check that out, eh? And there's lots of question marks along the way. Oh, that's where the eagle was. I killed my dude. What's this? Ooh, there's a new female hominid. Let's go get her. So that's a way you can expand your clan. So we gotta remember her. And uh, this one, I have to admit, I actually did in my other clan, so I know what's up here. Now where did it put me? Where am I? Put me way up here, I don't even know where I am. Okay, there's all my dudes down there. You been enjoying watching me play this? Yeah, I don't think I get fire this early, but I'll check it out. I think it probably means I'll have to like, run away from my little zone here. This is way too early on to have fire, pretty sure, but I'll go check it out, I'll go check it out. But I'm actually most interested in go grabbing that female so we can keep more of what we learn here. And from what I remember of that is she is poisoned. So I'm gonna have to grab a coconut and give her some uh, poison antidote. Is what the coconuts are for us in this. So let's do that. Let's grab a rock. And then let's open this coconut up. And do it without destroying it. Oh! <laughs> Don't know my own strength. Okay. Grab another coconut. Switch them. Cool. A 
memorized item has been forgotten. What? All right, it looks like we still got this mark. And I have a buff against, whoa, broken bones. <laughs> Fortunately enough. All right, so with that as a warning, let's see, so is that what I was looking for? What is this? Ah, uh, I'm not sure that was her. Remember her being up there somewhere. Oh, that was the one we learned a long time ago, right? Um, where did that female go? She was up here somewhere. Remember her not being far. Alright, let's go see what that is. Got a lime. <laughs> hey, there may be. Although, scientifically, citrus came from um, Asia, and I'm supposed to be in Africa. Alright, what's this? This is a thing. Okay, we don't want to drop this. Can I grab this? Oh, I've still got my rock. That's why. Let's drop the rock. Okay, let's grab that and inspect. What's this? New tool. Kapak fiber. Okay, so we learned fiber. Let's go ahead and drop that for now. And let's see if we can get a bead on that female leg. I know, you put the lime in the coconut and you shake it all up. There she is. Alright, let's get over to her. And can I do this? Let's take a risk here. Should have been able to grab that vine. Yeah, I'm gonna need to get better at that. It's really tough learning how to how to navigate in this because it's like I said, the jump is the release of the space bar, not the tapping of it. So it's kind of weird. All right, she's up there. Can we get up there this way? <laughs> stop the rock. Can't stop the rock. Alright, she is up over there. Let's see, let's see if we can do this. We did it. What's up? I've come to save you. Oh, here's something. So what is this? Is this another one of those K-pop fibers? No, this is new. New food discovery. African giant mambin. Now can I eat this and not get sick? Is that why she's sick? I seem okay so far. i have kind of losing my balance there. Cool. New safe food. I'll be right there, ma'am. I just gotta grab a snack. <laughs> From the droop kind of food. Yeah, she's having issues. Alright. Oh, well, this is gonna be a risk. Let's do it. Okay, we did it. 
All right, so we got a switch. We're finished eating this, actually. Get a lot of food out of one of these. <laughs> okay, switch hands. And now we can give it to her. And that's going to be the antidote for her poisoning. Hey, we friended the thirsty outsider to have a new clan member. Cool. All right, so come on back with me, and we're going to have some babies. <laughs> we're going to get right to it. All right, we got to get back up. Uh, let me see our place. Where is our place? Okay, there's our dead guy. We're over there. Okay, so... And hopefully she'll just be able to follow along. Okay, let me over there. Let's see if we get there this way. <laughs> hey man, it's all about that in this game. coming? We gotta figure out the way. Alright, hopefully she'll make it. If not, we'll have to go back for her. Yeah, but that's really important. I mean, one, you just gotta keep your tribe alive to survive. But two, there was that thing about you should only learn as many new traits. There she comes. What's up? Analyze. She's single and fertile. So yeah, we got stuff to do here. Oh, she's still got issues though, huh? Let's see, let's become her for a minute. No, I don't want to do that. Analyze and switch. Okay, so we're her now. And what's our issue? Are we thirsty? Yeah, we're thirsty. Yeah, so there's there's straight up survival of the species, but then, like I said, you can only um, keep as many traits as you have kids. And then let's she's gonna eat that coconut we left behind. get her food up. Oh, so she's not really hungry. Okay. Hopefully that's just a result of being, um, maybe she's tired. That might be it. Okay. Well, anyway, um, where is dude? Okay, so analyze him and switch to Dar. So we're going to forget about our previous relationship and we're going to groom the new lady. And do some bonding. Oh, not, not doing too well to start. Yeah, listening for that little click and I got to let go. Right there. And if I do it right, we get some bonding. Nice. All right, so now we are a couple. Sweet. I'm gonna come over here and lie down and drop the kids. And then I'm gonna call her. The monkey is playing the monkey, absolutely. And uh, maybe I should be playing those on Twitch. This is the adult portion here. <laughs> At least we discreetly look away. And she's pregnant. So let's go ahead and give birth. We're going to uh, let the cutscene play one time. And then we'll skip it next time. 
So this means we can play this clan longer before we evolve to the next generation. Because we will keep more traits. There he is, the new baby. Things move quick in the uh, hominid world here. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> so lewd. It's actually pretty wholesome. Fifteen months later. He's growing up. Playful little guy. Or gal. Yeah, we gotta grow our clan. Although the bigger it is, the more pressure we'll have for food, too. Which is, of course, the other side of it. Alright, new baby. And uh, we're gonna do that right away. Because even though it seems like it's just been a couple of minutes, it's been 15 months, so. It's ready to go. And so each female can have two kids. So this will max out her fertility potential. But it's great, we've added two babies to the clan. Lickety split. Now, a lot of times people didn't think you could skip cutscenes in here, but it's press and hold tab and you skip them. Cool. So now we've got four kids here and six in the whole tribe. So actually while we're lying down, seven in the morning now, um, let's check out our evolution. So we got a new trait here intelligence so let's initiate that now we have memory the range for detection of non-edible resources is increased so tap e to use your enhanced intelligence cool we got that and that opens up more long-range potential now i'm not sure if this is one that needs a reinforcement no, the ones right by the neuron don't. It's the, it's the ones that are more extended that do. So, right now in the stream, we need to learn four more of these and evolve. So we got to just keep doing stuff. Keep doing stuff. Alright, so... Let's uh, exit out of here. Backspace. Out of my four, three or four or five neuron brain. <laughs> okay, and then we got to pick up all our kids. Come on, kids. Can't see him out of here. Okay, let's get everybody over here. We need a clan call. Everybody! Come over here. I mainly just want to get the kids off the bed. Okay, so we can piggyback that one. Piggyback that one. So, you... Um, Having a kid on you makes you gain XP or earn those neurons more quickly. Of course, it's at the risk of losing those kids. All right, so let's switch to her. Um, actually, let's do it with the elders. Yeah, because we're going to go out with them because um, they're sort of expendable, right? But they're going to have to carry a kid if we're going to learn anything. We gotta get those kids off the bed so we can grab them. Let's get them over here. Okay, there's one. Take it back you. We can get the other kid off the bed. There we go. And then let's switch to this elder. Each of the elders will have a kid on their back. Okay. Cool. Alright, so now from the bed, we can end the expedition and they'll all stop following. I had no idea. <laughs> Uh-oh. Cutscene. No, we're back. Alright, let's see if that fire is still going on over here. What was that about?
It is. So I think we're going to have to investigate that. Um, there are... I should, I should grab a stick if he's going to go out. Oh, and these are those same ones, aren't they? That I was trying to learn about on the waterfall. So we got any branches here? Oh, and there's a new rot, too, I think I need to learn. What do I got in my hands? I've got a rock in my hand. Look at that. Which one do I got? Looks like obsidian. Have we learned this one yet? Let's see. No, this is a new one. There was three kinds of rock. And that's basalt. So we got basalt, granite, and obsidian. Okay, I'm gonna leave it here with the other basalt right now. But one of the things we gotta do is try altering each of the different types of rocks with the other rocks and see if we can get like spearheads and stuff like that. Yes, the great stick. Let's go get a stick. And then we're gonna go check out that fire. The game was definitely make a point of like, hey, look over here. There's fire. Okay, so let's grab one of these. Any one of them would do. So first we do, we strip it by hand, right? So. Get it to that point. And then we need to get a rock. Oh, we have one already, but we might as well make another. Gonna arm the whole clan. No, not you. Let's drop you here. How about one of you? There we go. I don't know which rock is best for each. That could be like a whole episode of like figuring out which rock is good for what. If you make a chopper with one of the, <laughs> the chopper, um, if you make a chopper with one of the rocks, you can do that in a way fewer hits. Anyway, we've got a stick. Let's go out with an elder and a baby, and go out into the dangerous world here. It's noon. It's not too late. Hopefully the elder is like tough and wizened with the world. Uh, on the way out, we might as well grab a few question marks too. So the fire is kind of it's kind of that way, right? Let's go ahead and uh, tap E and grab one of these. And memorize it. Okay, and then we'll get that on the way out. Oop. End of the road there. Oh gosh. The rock. Reminds me of what Sergeant Johnson said about sticks in the rock in the Halo 2 at the bridge crossing after dropping off the tank. What did he say? I never played Halo. Where was that question mark we just learned? I don't even know where it is now. Oh, we got some music. This is farther than I've gone with this clan so far. Alright. Oh, there it is. I see it. Oh, 
jamming. So in some ways we're safer up in the trees from predators, but at the same time, uh, we're in danger of falling, so it's kind of a trade-off. Uh, this is one of the hiding spots for the kids. I hear all kinds of scary sounds. Yeah, and if we do come across a threatening creature, we'll have a choice to, uh, oh, I see the fire, either intimidate, dodge, or attack. These are a thing, too. Right here. Let's inspect that. Let's try it again. Oh, wait, maybe we gotta get this out of our hand. Inspect. It's a new gathering spot. It's a liftable rock. And we gotta hold this and alter. Oh wait, not the stick. We already did that. Switch hands. Now I don't want to um, break my weapon here. Didn't good. We didn't. And then you can um, grab these. I did find these last time and inspect them. They're food, but they give you a tummy ache, too. You want to drink a coconut first or something. All right, and we got something from using the uh, sharpened stick as a tool at least twice. All right, we're going to leave that mushroom here. And head on. That fire was right over here. I hear a boar. Oh god. We're gonna intimidate. Let's try again. He's not getting very intimidated. Yeah, if we go down there, we're going to have an incident. Alright, I guess we'll do this. It's a little scary. Okay, you got to hold, to prime the dodging, and then we're going to have to pick a direction. And release at the right time. Now, where is this guy? Oh, that's no fair. I got a broken bone from that. Give me my stick. Oh. I will heal over time. But uh, he didn't show himself. Okay, we might have to deal again. All right, let's intimidate. Okay, hold this. We're going to move towards the attacker and release. Now, oh. Oh, we're getting beat. We're getting beat. Now he's in big trouble. All right. Let's go hide. <laughs> that didn't go that well. I was so close to that fire. Stupid warthog. Yeah, we will heal over time. If I can get to some um, horsetail, we can heal faster. I think that guy. Yeah, there's a there's a point where you we will be able to stab it. I'm just not very practiced at this, and you can see the combat has something to be desired. Oh, there's a snake. That's a big old snake. All right, this is not a good scene. Snake doesn't see us. It gets scary out here. 
There we go. There's some horsetails. The fire's still right there. Let's go eat some horsetails and heal our bones. <laughs> okay, I'll try to remember right. Back in my day, son, we didn't have no fancy tank. We had sticks and a rock. We had to share the rock. <laughs> so buck up, boy. You're going over. Yeah, so these are helping. So these are specifically good for broken bones. We're just going to eat horsetail. I don't think there's an overeating thing. And I, I do know with rocks you can make some sort of grinder thing. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, we got him. He used up my stick. Woo. Yeah. I guess it's one stick per. Wow. We need another stick. Okay. Switch hands. Eat that one. We're all healed up. The stick next to the chief. All right, we need more sticks. This is becoming a very dangerous expedition. All right, we didn't stick to that. <laughs> All right, here is this. for bushes for sticks what's that that's the warthog salt yeah here is our big question mark There's a lack of sticks around here. That stupid warthog knows me. Man, we get like 20 meters from our place. There's sticks. We got warthogs, snakes. Whatever the other thing was called, the golden whatever. Alright, these guys don't respond well to intimidation. <laughs> As a matter of fact, it seems like it uh, riles them up some. We didn't die the first time. Let's go ahead and try the dodge again. Okay, we're gonna do that. We're gonna choose a direction. We're gonna release. Whew. Oh god, the crocodile! Oh my goodness, get him, crocodile! Holy moly! All right, hopefully he's fed. <laughs> All right, I just want a stick. A stick. Yeah, new discovery. Oh, I made the crocodile kill the warthog? Excellent. He's still there. Let's grab this. Let's get up somewhere high. That fire is right there. I need to check that out. And there's the other thing I've memorized. Let's go up here and sharpen our stick. And it's nighttime. We're gonna need a little nap. 
All right, hopefully we're safe. So let's go ahead. Can we do this before we strip it? Let's see. Yeah. Eventually, we're gonna have a whole stick wielding army. We'll take out, we'll take over this area. All right, it's still not sharpened. This is why I did take an elder out though. In case things go really bad. We'll still have five kids if we lose this one. Oh god, I hear it. Alright, we're super tired. Can I lie down? I was hoping I could take a nap up here. Apparently, I can't sleep in the tree. Yeah, I got issues. Yeah, there's no laying down here. All right, let's see if we can check out this fire and then get someplace else. Um, I've slept without a sleeping spot, but sleeping spots give you things like evolve and stuff like that. Oh god, there's a snake right there. Let's get up here. Maybe it's because I got stuff in my hands. Let's see, let's drop the rock. Drop the stick. Yeah, lie down and sleep. Yeah, you can sleep pretty much anywhere. Actually, if I didn't have the stick, I probably could have slept on that. Um, now I need water. But you can't evolve and do that other stuff that you can. Okay, let's grab the stick. And then let's go for the water. The other thing we memorized was up there. Um, that is actually one thing I did do before. That's going to be a fresh water source. Yeah, it was because I had stuff in my hand, apparently. So we need some water. Let's turn it into a long expedition. We're going to have to drop our stick for a second. It's going to make us a little defenseless. And this is a new water source, so I think we're going to have to scoop. Oh, God. Okay. Whew, dodge. Give me my stick. Oh, God. Where's my stick? We're dodging, we're ducking and weaving. Give me my stick. Give me that. Oh god. Seem to use a stick. Dying of thirst and hunger. Stick. 
Give me that stick. Woo. Leave me alone. I just want to get up something. Oh, he does have a stick in him. situation oh that's the same one I stuck before Yeah, same one from last time. Yeah, I kept picking up my stick trying to... Uh, trying to stick it, but it, every time I dodge, it didn't give me the attack option. It's just a dodge option. In the meantime, I'm thirsty, I'm hungry, and I'm bleeding. <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> I haven't died yet, though. Oh, God. Go wake. Alright, we're gonna have to get out of dodge here somehow. Can I go farther? Oh, uh oh. What happened? What happened? Am I just exhausted? No! No! Stuck in a tree! Fear of the unknown. What? Oh, he's passed out. Are you not dead? He's unconscious, stuck to a side of a tree. <laughs> I'm the baby now? Where am I? Call. Where is the baby? Oh, I'm in front of him. The baby's stuck. He did that. The baby's still alive, though. This is kind of glitchy here. I can see myself moving under his belly, but I can't. I can't move. In the tree going up. Yeah, I'm stuck under the body of the, the elder. Relaunch. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to. It saves when you sleep, so we'll actually, if we do that, we'll be back where we took a nap. Yeah, fear of the unknown, because the babies don't know anything. And so, this is what happened in the beginning. Um, all right, we're going to have to relaunch because we're stuck. Yeah. No choice. Oh, I quit the game. Okay. Um, let's go back in. I thought it would quit to the main menu. We're launching. Okay, uh, yeah, there it is. Well, we might get the, a do-over on that. <laughs> we need a rug from that leopard. Let's see where it puts us. But yeah, that death scene was a little glitchy there. First he was in the tree on the ground, and he was stuck to the side of it, the baby was stuck underneath him. But nah, shh. Yes, yes. We know all these things. Okay. Let's try this again. 
high stakes here. We were doing some good dodging there, though. Ducking and weaving. Problem is, he caught me after that sleep, and I was thirsty. And it caught me without a stick in my hand. Oh, no. It saves. Uh, okay. Uh, this is annoying. I'm still stuck under this. All right. Game glitch. Hmm. Oh, there he is. Okay. We got the baby. Cool. So he needs to find a hiding spot. Where is the closest hiding spot? Right there? Okay. I jumped the baby out from under the body. Oop, I didn't memorize it. Memorize it. Okay, baby. Now, a lot of that growling and stuff's not necessarily something real. It just hears those sounds all the time. Come on, baby. Get to the hiding spot. Then we'll have to get another adult. And go get it. Ah. Whew. Okay. <laughs> you try pooping your pants, it might help. <laughs> okay. So we lost the elder, that's alright. Now we gotta go with another elder and go save the baby. Alright, I like how you get a chance to save the baby. Okay, so we need to switch to this one. And then we need to drop this baby. You can hear it screaming. You have to use the bed to lie down. And then uh, let's sleep for a second. Only because that saves. Oh, and it's still tired. Alright, let's. Before we go out, let's make sure we got our needs met here. So we don't have that same problem of dying of exhaustion. See that little yellow glow there? That means I'm getting benefit from the sleep. All right, now we need some water. Get them all charged up. Food seems fine. I don't seem to be getting benefit in the water. I don't know why. Alright, let's get a stick. Get ready for war. Strip it. And, nope. I need a rock. It's because I'm old? It might be. I am old. Oh, man. All right, we gotta do it again. Another stick. Drop the rock. Strip it. No, I don't want you. I might as well eat it. I'm coming, baby. Oh. 
gotta make a weapon. This work makes me tired. Elder doesn't have the stamina for this, I think, so let's find our, well, it doesn't matter. Our adults are somewhat expendable now, too. Who's this? Let's take our adult male, or I guess whoever doesn't have a kid on their back. Who's this? Okay, we'll take him. So let's drop the stick. You. You switch. What does he need? I wish there was something that would tell you immediately what they need. Let's, see, let's get some water. Maybe it's because he's frightened. Oh, because of the. Oh, their stamina is down because. See the eye? It's on alert. With the baby. Yeah, so that limits their stamina because their their dopamine's messed up. They're having panic reaction. He's getting some benefit from the the water though. That's good. Okay, it's gonna have to be like that. Okay, let's grab that stick and let's go. We're actually gonna go with this is a two-stick mission now. <laughs> Dual wielding. Yes. We're gonna go save that baby. I can still climb with two sticks. Not messing around now. He's tired. And he's stuck. There we go. Two more. We're gonna end up killing that leopard or whatever it is. Is that music loud for you guys? A little bit loud. Let's uh, turn that down. Music, oh yeah, it's on 100%. Well, we gotta leave the sound effects up. Resume. And then we gotta use our hearing here. Where's the baby? Can't quite zero in on it. There's that fire again. No, don't climb a tree yet. Stop sticking the things. 
Oh, that's a snake. Hey, I think we intimidated it. Excellent. I intimidated an African rock python. Where's the baby? Baby's right there. Okay, there we go. There he is. He's by the snake. Oh god. What? It didn't give me a thing. No! <laughs> oh, you stupid. Oh, man. We're dropping like flies here. Uh, this guy's got to go. He's got to go. All right, who am I now? I'm Nar, an adult female. I've had my two babies, so it might as well be me. We need sticks again. Oh, and I'm starting with no health. Because I'm freaked out. That's adult female. These are all females, right? Adult male. All right, let's uh, switch to you. I don't know if it, the male makes a difference or not, but he's got some health at least. So that's good. Okay, let's lie down. Drop the child. Drop the child. Okay, let's go get this. Got any sticks? No, we're gonna make sticks again. Yeah, that tiger's gotta go, man. It didn't give me as much option as it usually does there. It just gave me the space bar thing. With like no attack or dodge cue. I wonder how long you get to get the baby. One stick. Switch. Drop. Grab another one. And let's make another stick. It's wanting me to intimidate. Let's drop the rock. Is that what it is? You can only carry one stick. Oh god. Alright, well if that's the case, let's just do it with one stick then. Or one hand it. You don't get the dual wield? Whoa! And we broke our leg. <laughs> Bad start. Bad start. Let's find that river and get some horsetails. And heal up. The river's right over here somewhere. That's 
over here. Okay, these are them. Yeah, it might have been that. Who knows? We'll find out. We're learning. Hopefully we won't learn by losing our whole tribe. <laughs> okay, field now. Alright. Hopefully you get a real chance to attack that saber tooth golden whatever it is. Keep our eye out for it. Snuck up from behind me. Let's keep our back side to the cliff this time at least. here. That thing is here somewhere. We gotta eliminate it. I'm coming, baby. Oh, there's a snake. Well, the snake is intimidate intimidatable, but I might have just let that thing know my position. leopard thing. Oh, there's my dead mate. That leopard was right here. Maybe he's full and gone? Alright, I'm having fear of the unknown here. Let's comfort baby. Okay, we got the baby. Yeah, don't waste time guys, come on. Oh, guys, right there. It didn't let me do anything. I pressed and I released. And it didn't let me do anything. It's a certain uh, lack of fairness <laughs> happening here now. Why can't we have a real melee shooter in this? Oh, he's gonna eat the snake at least. What about baby? No. Don't eat the baby. No eating the baby. inspect things. We did. 
The more things he knows, the less he'll be afraid of. Drop it. Don't need it. Get up here. <laughs> Yeah, that was really unfair. Right out of the cutscene, the thing's leaping at me. It only gives me the the space bar as a prompt, which I pressed and released, but nothing happened. I guess if the thing just gets to jump on you, there's not a whole lot you can do. Right there. That's our thing. We want to our That's our hiding spot. That we need to make it to. I mean the baby's a thing we gotta save. You know, if we evolve, all the babies are adults and we're good. Though I'm not sure what happens if all the adults die and there's just babies. <laughs> I think you probably need to keep at least one adult. No, we did that when the first one died. I think dying is a save. Dying is a save. Because when, when the first elder died, that's what happened. We logged out and went back in. Um, it's not really fair anyway. I mean, we gotta play right, take the consequences. If we have to start a whole new tribe eventually, well, that's what we'll do. I just want a fighting chance. I mean, I had a stick. I stabbed it once. I just want a fair prompt. Now, is that growling just fear of the unknown? No, it's still down there. Is it following me? Generally, it's been a uh, hold and release. Prime and release. That's how it's, ha it's acted all the rest of this time. Crazy mom. Yeah, let's run for it. Run for this tree first. Oh, he's coming. See, that's our hiding spot right there. We just need to make it to that and we can hide. I need to go away. I did. I did. It's kicking my butt right now. I did these two tutorials where I made it look super easy. Because now I'm like, I lost three adults in the last 20 minutes. All to this one stupid guy. I got a baby here I'm trying to save. I just need to get to that hiding spot right there. Yeah, it's right there. See that little triangle? That's my hiding spot, but this guy is camping. He's spawn camping. I might be able to leap to it. And press right away. gonna give me. I might just get caught in a, like a thing of dodging and rolling. Curl up? Yeah, I wish. Let's see if we can lose his attention for a minute. And meanwhile, my whole tribe is stuck in a state of panic.
this ends here. I'm no, not confident I can hit that branch. Going for it. Where's my hide from? I had it. Here we go. Woo! Save the baby. <laughs> All right, and let's sacrifice another adult. <laughs> All right, we're definitely gonna do another elder this time. she in any shape to go? Yeah, she's alright. Alright, we need a stick. Are we out of sticks? We gotta make yet yeah, another stick. Go on through sticks quick. adult females left and this one elder. We got six babies. All right, stick is done. Got the rock. It's a uh, Care of my knees real quick. I'm not thirsty. Let's get some bone bone breaking buff. Keep me from breaking my bones <laughs> accidentally. Get nice and charged up. everybody else can take care of themselves too. Alright, that's as fed as I'm gonna get. Let's go. Okay, Grandma. Grandma's gonna save the day. Yeah, it's just gotta give me a fair chance. Stick that thing. We stuck it once. Need to stick it again. It's got one thing in its side for the first time. This is all just trying to get to that fire. The good news is that thing did kill the. Um, did kill the snake. So we don't have the snake to worry about anymore. And the crocodile killed the warthog. <laughs> These creatures do seem to be persistent. Grandma's tired. Have the croc and the saber face off. Divide and conquer. I think I gotta, um, I gotta kill that, that feline before I get the baby. 
because otherwise it will just sneak up on me after the cutscene. Like it did before. Alright, where is it? Where is it? Let's see if we can spot it. There's the hideout. There's the warthog. Where is that leopard? I wonder what that hole is. <laughs> Better shut the kid up. All right. Trying not to be taken by surprise again by that thing. Grandma's on a mission here. Kill it. Baby's right there. Come on. Now, if I can't find it and it shows itself right after the find the baby cutscene again. Oh, I heard it. I heard it. Where is it? There it is. No, that's the warthog. Alright. I guess we gotta get the baby, but... Better not repeat that again. Better not. All right, we can intimidate something. What is this where I don't get the options I used to get? Why is it reduced just to the space bar? Yeah, no. I will. Last time I didn't even get that option. And we gotta sit here and comfort it. Warthog's coming, kid. Let's go. Stop all this. Let's go. Okay. Up the tree. Yeah, see, before it's either giving me a dodge or an attack cue. Oh, there's the leopard. And last couple of times, it's only given me straight up space bar. I've got a broken bone and I lost my stick from that warthog. So we're just sticking to the trees. <laughs> I want to kill it though. Of course it shows up after the fact. I don't know how that's going to affect my ability to jump and stuff. Hmm. Oh. 
Let me down here. I'm healing. Uh oh. Can I not climb down when I have a broken leg? Right, maybe. Let's uh, lie down. And take a little sleep while we heal. Okay, we're healed. We're not in too bad a shape. Can I climb down now, please? Please. this from another angle there we go We gotta get this baby home. All right, don't get glitchy, game. Life and death here. There's our other dead body. Stuck on a tree. We got a rock and a stick. Okay, cool. We didn't lose the rock. Nice. You have to get some points from all this crafting. I 
think I'm gonna have to get down, but at least I got a weapon. I might just drop the kid off, feed grandma, and go back out and go leopard hunting. <laughs> Might be the thing to do. We need revenge on that thing. Okay, close. Get up on walk on two legs. I'd like to. <laughs> We got so close to that fire we were trying to examine too. Still did not quite get to it. Oh god, what's that? What's wrong? Is she tired? our branch home. Now, I wanted to do stuff with the kid because you get more XP that way, but then you got the whole mission of having to retrieve the kid every time. So we might just go out solo, even if we get less neuronal activity. Go do that. I still want to check out that fire. All right. Made the back. She used up some stamina there. Hey, everybody. I brought the kid home. Yeah, let's, uh, oh, we gotta drop the stick. All right, let's lie down. And get some sleep. Good going, Grandma. Save the day. And it's done. She's thirsty. Stop, kid. And let's see if we learn anything from all that. We did. We got some stuff. That was actually a lot. So we've got this one acute stress response reaction time for both escapes and attacks will be increased yes we want that cool we got that and we actually might have enough stuff to just evolve at this point so even though that was all stressful it was still learning what's this dexterity will improve Cognitive enhancement. I think we can get all these things. Spatial perception. <laughs> no, I know if you walk in waist deep water, it definitely gets you on your hind legs. Hey, what's up, Kevin? Um, but it's only while you're in water. The range for detection of non edible resources is increased. Okay. And then, that opens stuff up. This was a real learning experience for us. Get a new communication skill, let's see what it is. Self-empowerment. While following you, clan members are able to automatically mimic in the intimidation or the action of conquering fear. So that's cool, we can all go out and intimidate, which hopefully would be pretty intimidating. What else we got? We got... Oh, we learned a bunch of stuff doing this. Contextual orthostatus. The ability to detect more distant elements through intelligence is acquired. Okay.
Oh yeah? That will help unlock the nodes and motricity? Oh, this is good. Once connected, the chances of dropping an item following a dodge will decrease. We need that. We drop our stick every time. We can do it. Grow neurons, grow. Grasp control. Cool. All right. Hold that to prime dodging. Move direction, release. We know all that. Okay. Excellent. So now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things to hold on to. So I believe it's time to evolve. And then we've got two things from our babies too. Enhanced ability to communicate and uh, metabolize food. So that's cool. Um, let's go over to this. And what would we reinforce? So we definitely want to reinforce that stuff. This was all the stay alive things. The dodging, the grasping, cute stress response. And so we get to two of these three. So that's people, them following me, we can all intimidate. This one is range for detection. And this is also ability to to detect more distant elements. Um, I think this is reinforcing these. Let's go ahead and keep that one. Yeah, no, thanks, Kevin. I will definitely hold on to that information. So while following you, clan members are able to automatically mimic which one's better? Let's hold on to this one for now, because I'm not planning on taking everybody out just yet. So let's hold that one. All right, now, how do we evolve? How do we evolve? Here's the evolution. So grandma's gonna die. The three adult females will, um, will then become the elders. So we'll have three grandmas. And then the kids, six kids, will become six adults. So, it's in here. Um, how do we get to these things? No. Okay. Evolve. So did we trigger it by holding Q? Nope, not that. Hey Ace, what's going on? I'm trying to figure out how to evolve. Craftsman Pioneer, Craftsmanship Pioneer, Ready 1, Ready 2. Leading tool user, wood and vegetal. Adaptable meta metabolism. To launch an evolution, you must be in your clan's active settlement, have passed at least one generation, and succeed in evolution feat. Click one of these boxes. Okay. That's adaptable metabolism. Is that the one I want? I don't know. I am in the nest. Yes. Leading tool user. Uh, I am an I am an elder. Yeah. Um, and I have three adult females and six babies. Oops. Can't be. There's four deaths and six births. Have to be an adult. Oh, okay. 
All right. Uh, we can step out of this then. That's a uh, backspace. Cool. Let's get an adult. Hey there. That tells me you've been playing this, huh? Gage. Yeah, this is the part I haven't done yet. So we can uh, lie down. Evolution. We're watching. Okay, so generational. We want to... I guess we have to reinforce again, right? All that. And that. And that. Oh, and then change generation. Okay. Is this what we do here? Um, do we want to evolve first? Have evolution first? If we hold space, I guess we'll advance to the next generation. But then, what about... What about evolution? Oh, we have to have passed at least one generation to do this. Okay, so that answers that. These are still reinforced. But let's hold space and see what happens. When passing a generation, the neurons that have not been reinforced will lose their energy and will have to be refilled. All unborn babies will also be lost. You want to pass a generation? Yes. Ooh, boy. Here we go. First time. And this will also help us recoup from our losses from the uh, saber tooth leopard thing. The stream's at two hours now. I'm good to keep going. But just letting you know, my stream has been cutting out at around this time each time. So if it cuts out, I'll be right back. Just letting you know. So yeah, grandma died. I'm now old, and we're in the next generation, so all the kids are growing up. So we've got six kids now, or six adults. And we get two kids already? No, my new fiber is scheduled for the 16th at this point is my installation date. So hopefully it will all go well at that point. All right, so we've got an adult female here. She's single and fertile. And... Who else have we got? We got an adult male, single. So we got to probably mate with him. It shows there's... Three babies old? No, three elders, okay. No babies yet. Right, so we gotta make all the babies. And I didn't know what the sex of the babies are. Let's see, that's that one. Got at least two females. So there's that one. Two, three, four. It's gotta be two more somewhere. Okay, let's call everybody together. Yeah. All right, everybody. Gather up. Oh, there we go. Somebody's up there. 